Hi everybody and welcome to my video about delayed auditory feedback or DAF and then first of all what is delayed auditory feedback? Delayed, audit for, delayed auditory feedback is a machine or device that uh, takes your sound and then plays it back into your ear at a delay between I think 20 milliseconds and 400 milliseconds at the at at the most and so what that does is it kind of forces you to slow down your speech and speak better. So I've um, posted a lot of stuff about how I don't like delayed auditory feedback but I'm changing my tune in this video because I realize that pretty much every um, sportscaster, every person on the radio, and every YouTuber actually uses delayed auditory feedback. So, um, actually, and, um, and I figured that out because I'm, I'm starting, um, to use headphones and I realized that anytime you use, uh, um, and, and my little brother's a YouTuber and he, um, he uses headphones. And so I thought, oh, well, I want to, I want to put on headphones, um, in my videos just to be cool. And um, before I realized, oh, okay, that um, it, uh, it's it's so you can check the sound quality and get feedback on if if there's some like big buzzing noise in the background. But <clears throat> what it does, and I and I found this out, is that it delays your um, voice. I'm guessing by about like 20 milliseconds, not very much. But it does that because if there's absolutely no delay, then you can't actually hear. Um, your voice even though your voice is being piped into your ears because it's the same voice that is coming out of your mouth. So um, so, so every, um, every soundboard and mixing board and any time that um, a professional is recording audio and listening to it, then there's some kind of delay, so they're all using delayed auditory feedback. And so um, it's probably actually a nice side benefit that whenever you're listening to your voice in headphones that you're getting the delayed auditory feedback effect and that your voice is a little bit better and more fluid and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let me go back to um, back to when I was in speech therapy and why I don't or didn't um, like delay, delayed auditory feedback, and I think I think that the reason I don't like it is because um, not very much is known about cluttering. People just don't know very much about cluttering, and people don't know how to fix it. And the only thing for a long, long time that anybody knew that would help with cluttering was delayed auditory feedback. And so a lot of people just said, hey, well, we have no idea how to fix cluttering, but throw that guy on the delayed auditory feedback machine because that's the only thing that we know that even helps. So that's, um, and, and, and so that's, uh, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of the root of what bugs me or bugged me about it is people just saying, oh, well, he's a clutterer, throw him on delayed auditory feedback. So, so anyway, when, uh, when I went to speech therapy, it was in like 1995, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Pro I'm probably around 1995. So that's, 20, 24 years ago, so a long, long time ago. And they hooked me up to a delayed auditory feedback machine, and it was this gigantic machine. And it, um, they, um, they mentioned, hey, be careful with this machine because it costs $10,000, or I'm, I'm not sure how much, just a gigantic amount for a really, really big machine. And um, and they um, they um, they plugged me in. They had a little. It had a microphone. I think I think the speech therapist could listen um, could listen too. And then I spoke, and the speech therapist adjusted some knobs. And it felt it felt just really really weird. And and it 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 slowed down my speech, but in just this um, strange way for me. And I think the um, I think the speech therapist was trying to like um, adjust the dial so that my speech was the most fluid, um, like that it's a, a magic box where you can just um, fix uh, fix your speech if you get the right number of milliseconds delay. And um, so so my uh, my experiences with it were were really weird. And one of the things that 
um, one of the speech therapists said is, hey, well, if this works, then they have some like portable DAF machines. Those, um, those are expensive too, like, um, like $10,000 too, but they hook, um, they hook it up to your ear and then you get delayed auditory feedback all the time. And so, um, my, my initial, my initial experience with delayed auditory feedback wasn't all that great. And so me thinking, oh, well, um, they want to buy this super expensive machine and have me walk around with a, um, with like a 1940s hearing aid on my um, on my head all the time just to oh and then um, that's uh, that's the thing with with cluttering and stuttering it's really really different and with with cluttering I was still trying to come to terms with hey well my speech is different than other people's. Um, clutterers usually think that it's the listener's problem, not the clutterer's problem, and so clutterers really want the listener to be able to hear them better, not necessarily to get their speech to be better, where with stuttering, uh, folks with stuttering are very acutely aware that their speech is um, has an issue, and so, so I think for some stutterers way back then, having a great big device on their um, attached to their ear, so that they um, wouldn't, or so that their speech would be more fluid, could actually be a a benefit. But for um, but for a clutter who's um, trying to trying to come to terms with, hey, well, my speech is different than um, than um, like I um, th- um, that suggestion of having a having a box was just way way too much for me. So I I just hated it. Um, so, so the other, um, the other thing, the other thing that I really didn't like about speech therapy is that this big box was for me. This big box wasn't for anybody else. This, uh, this big box was just for people with speech problems. It wasn't a box for other people. And, and one of the things that I really think about cluttering therapies is almost all the cluttering therapies are very, very translatable into being a really great public speaker. So if you incur- if you make your cluttered speech less cluttered, then you can um, then a person like, like a regular person without cluttering who really wants to get good at public speaking can use almost all of those exact same techniques to become a great public speaker. And, and and so I really didn't like the DAF machine because it was a device just for just for me. Um, the speech therapist said, "Oh yeah, I used I used it a couple times um, myself, um, but I don't I don't know if that was um, years ago in my speech therapist's college classes or or whatever." But but I felt targeted. I felt picked on. I um, I I didn't I didn't like it. And so, actually, that's where um, that's where the thing about the sound. Um, the sound card or the sound um, sound mixer is is a is a great um, thing. So uh, let me sh- let me first show you a um, a, 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 a and this is still a pretty cheap sound mixer, but it's a uh, what is it? It's it's like a fifty or sixty dollar sound mixer. So on on almost every sound on almost every sound mixer, there's uh, there's this um, delay um, delay and then a uh, repeat or uh, this is basically an echo. So so one of the things that I learned or, or, and I think I already mentioned this if if the delay is set to nothing, you can't actually hear anything on the earphone because it's the exact same thing as your voice. And so everyone, everyone that wears these things needs to have some kind of delay or delayed auditory feedback. And so that's what this, um, that's what this, um, this delay button, uh, this, that's what this delay button does. And on this particular model, you can set the delay from nothing, from absolutely nothing, up to about half of a second. And so this, um, this thing right here will basically do exactly the same thing as a delayed auditory feedback machine. And even like the uh, the high uh, the high end um, delayed auditory feedback machines, I'm not suggesting that. Um, well, uh, well, and and then um, going back to going back to when I was when I was in speech therapy, I was thinking why is why does this cost a hundred or why does this cost ten thousand dollars? Couldn't you just do the same thing if you got a really really big wire? And um, but but actually the um, sound sound travels pretty fast, and so. So I think your wire, um, so with a hundred 
meter wire, then sound will go. Sound will only take um, like three nanoseconds, and so you would need, um, in order to do a delay just by wire length, you probably need a wire that was like a hundred kilometers long to get uh, to get uh, to be able to do delayed aud auditory feedback. So anyway, I I learned that now. I didn't know that back then. So the thing, um, the thing I wanted to show you is the cheapest way to get a portable DAF um, device. This, um, this actually, you can't set the delay, but uh, this is what I'm using now. Um, the reason I got it is because it's a sound amplifier. So um, it's super, super, super simple. And hopefully me messing around with this doesn't like mess up the audio. But um, it's, super, uh, it's, it's super simple. Um, all you really have is the volume control of how, um, how, how high up and down the volume is. Um, you have a place here for, um, you have a place here for two, um, two microphones, a big, um, a big jack and a small jack. And then there are four, um, four out um, things on, on the back. It, um, it has a 1,000 milli um, um, mH battery, so, um, so it's completely, um, you, um, you, can, um, you can charge it and then it's completely portable. So this thing, this thing I got for like 340 baht, which is about $12, um, $12. Um, you can get them in the US through AliExpress or Amazon. I think Amazon's selling them for $16 and AliExpress is selling them for, um, for how much, um, 15, uh, $15 with free shipping. So, um, so, so the cool, um, uh, the cool thing about this and this, um, uh, this won't, this won't cure cluttering, but it, um, but I noticed as soon as I put the headphones on that I was, um, speaking better, but, um, but, um, like, like how, I was with the DAF machine, but like in a good way, and and then I thought, oh, this is this is weird. Is there a delay on this? I can't hear a delay. Um, I can hear my voice, but I can't hear a delay. Um, what's uh, what's going on with this? So I think the delay on this is about 20, um, 20 to forty milliseconds, and it's it, it's just short enough of a delay so you can hear your own voice. So you, um, because like I like I mentioned a few times, if the delay is zero, then you can't actually hear it, um, anything because what's coming out of your mouth and what's going into your ear is the exact same thing. Okay. Oh, and so, so I, so I showed you, um, I showed you two devices and basically any mixing soundboard will, um, any mixing soundboard will be able to, um, to, um, to give you the delayed, the delayed auditory feedback. And here's um, here um, here's another one. This um, this is um, this is really similar to the one uh, to most of the cheap ones on Amazon. So um, so most of the cheap ones on Amazon are about twenty or thirty dollars, and they have four um, um, usually four circle knobs, and then four things in um, four things in the or four four inputs, and then this one has two um, two outputs. So, so one of my uh, one of my big points is that making videos is a really really good way to help the fluidity of your speech, and that's not what this is about. But it's it's kind of intertwined because if you, um, it's it's a really really nice way to avoid saying hey you're a clutter you have to do a whole bunch of weird stuff that I'm not doing because I'm the speech therapist and you're the clutter, so so uh, that's uh, that approach is what I didn't like about the delayed auditory feedback machine but what you can do with uh, what you can do with the sound um, with the sound mixer is say hey um, here's a sound mixer it's basically the same thing as a delayed auditory feedback except for it doesn't have um, it. Um, it only has the 20 millisecond delay, and it and, and it'll help your speech a little bit. But the goal is to make cool YouTube videos. I I'm a speech therapist, and here's my YouTube channel where I've made some videos, and I've used the, um, and I personally use this um, this device to amplify the sound and make my speech a little bit better, and so I can hear things. And um, I recommend that you do the same thing. Um, Mr. or Mrs. Clutter. 
So, so that, um, that kind of approach where you're saying, hey, well, I'm improving your, my speech and here's my way of you, or here's, here's a way that you can do the exact same thing and you improve your speech too. I think that's much, much better and easier and especially for cluttering where we usually don't realize that we have the problem. Um, like, like one of the, um, it's, it's kind of interesting because I always wanted to improve my speech even though I didn't realize that I had problems with my speech. And so a very, very effective technique for, for me, like 24, how many, however many years ago, would have been if someone said, hey, um, I learned some really cool things about improving my speech, and I know that your goal is to improve your speech, so let's work together to improve our speech. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's often not the technique that um, people take. Oh, and, and, and then one of the, one of the things for um, parents, one of the most uh, one of the most important things that parents can do is model improving their speech to their child. Not uh, not modeling good speech, but but saying, "Hey, well, you just got diagnosed with cluttering, and I, as your parent, have also always wanted to improve my speech. So this is a great opportunity for us to work together to improve our speech." So. You just, um, I, I just made a YouTube channel, and I know you have a YouTube channel with a couple of, of game videos on it, but let's start making YouTube videos once per, uh, once per week, and I'm making it on knitting or crocheting or whatever my hobbies are, and I'm, um, I'm getting this, um, this sound card so that you can be like a professional YouTuber, and, um, I, um, and I'm getting one for me and one for you. And we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this together. That um, that that effect um, that technique is much much better. And even though um, even though you're not going to get really really um, like um, like when you when you put the delay on like really really slow, then it makes your speech just sound weird. So let me think of something that I can say. I'm going to the store to buy some balloons. So if um, right now, um, fast, I'd say I'm going to the store to buy some balloons. Um, speaking for YouTube, I'd say I'm going to the store to get some balloons. Speaking, speaking on the delayed auditory feedback machine where I'm matching a really long delay, I'm going to the store to get some balloons. So, so that's that's how uh, that's that's what the delay, the delayed auditory feedback machine transforms your voice into, and that just sounds weird. It's not cluttered, but it's just weird. And so that's why, uh, that's why a small device like this or, uh, or um, getting, your, um, getting your kid a soundboard to make cool YouTube videos is way, way better because it won't, um, it won't remove all of the aspects of cluttering like the um, real DAF machine um, does where you can um, notch, um, notch it up to 200, 300, 400 milliseconds, but it will slightly, slightly improve their speech in a way that makes it very, very interesting for them. So anyway, I think that's all I have to say about that. Um, I told you where you can get all the stuff and... Um, oh, and um, don't um, don't be discouraged because I I got this thing and then had to buy like a whole bunch of different connectors and stuff. So um, I budget um, I budget some st um, some additional stuff for microphones and stuff. So so in theory you can get a D DAF machine for um, twelve bucks in Thailand and fifteen bucks in the U.S. But in practice, you might need to um, invest a little bit more in accessories unless you already have a bunch of AV stuff uh, equipment lying around. So anyway, thanks, um, thanks very much for listening, and um, see you in the next video.